Yeah. Yeah, this is a doozy, y'all. This is a doozy. <sighs> wow. So, hello, everyone. Welcome to P. Dinah. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for all of the new subscribers. Thanks for all of your kind words, your support of my channel. My goodness, we have gone down the rabbit hole. And I'm going to stick to, I'm going to try my best to stick to what it is that this connection is to everything. Um, I want to bring this story to you today only because you need to understand the depths of what Meghan Markle and Harry have gotten themselves into <laughs> while trying to separate themselves from royalty. The things that are getting ready to swirl around their, their lives, they would have been so much better off keeping their butt over in the United Kingdom with the royal family because it's getting ready to go down here in America. Let's get into it. Well, we all saw what recently happened with Megan and her new commercial venture with this coffee brand, Clever. We know she is an investor in this and she was seen, you know, hamming it up as an intern and doing all these things, trying to get her a likability on and her influence on around this coffee because this is a pivotal point for her. So here are the headlines. This is what I find, yeah, okay. Megan's last laugh, this is the headline, Duchess aims for likable and quirky uh, in new coffee advert. Megan makes self-indulgent move in desperate attempt to save public profile. Ain't nothing, okay, I'm sorry, I don't wanna use my bad grammar. Nothing is going to save this woman from her, herself because she has gotten herself into a lot of nastiness and I don't think she really understands the depths of what is getting ready to happen to her because she's not going to be able to save any public image, not with the allegations that are getting ready to swirl her, to swirl around her and her mentor, her child's godfather. It's, it's, they have gotten themselves into a seedy world. And the ironic thing is, is these things have been going on for a very, very long time. It is now getting ready to come crumbling down. It's getting ready now to, to start to fall. She's received a lot of negative, bad press. Um, the fallout we know with Omit's book. Can you imagine what Harry is thinking in this moment? Can you imagine how Harry is thinking, what have we gotten ourselves into? We, they would have been better off staying over in the United Kingdom. Speaking of which, I think, had Harry and Meghan kept the simple life and, and worked on their relationship, worked on building the relationship that they have, that would have been so much more powerful in connecting to the longevity of their relationship. But because they didn't focus on building their, their, their themselves as a couple, they looked out here to the outside world to find the things that they thought could help them and their branding and their relationship. They should have just had the paired app. The relationship app that would have helped them would have been a much better way to proceed as a couple rather than going out here into Hollywood and trying to make connections to people that they don't know. And now they're connected to all these allegations. I want to introduce you to uh, an app that I absolutely love. My husband and I have really enjoyed this app, the Paired app. Take a moment to look at the sponsor of today's video, and then we're going to get back into the other things that we're talking about today. Paired is a relationship care app that offers daily couple questions, relationship games, quizzes, exercises, and expert video guidance on all relationship subjects from sex and intimacy to connection and growth. When I was a little girl, I loved watching the Newlywed Game. This game show quizzed couples on various topics about the relationship to see how well they knew each other. The Paired app reminds me so much of this game by really prompting answers about your relationship via games, quizzes, and questions, thus helping to improve communication in a fun and entertaining way. 
And I believe looking at William and Catherine, they have that kind of marriage where they are able to communicate. They go out, they work together. They never really put a foot wrong. We know some people try to throw in things that are not true about their marriage, but all in all, this is a couple that has been able to sustain a lot of negativity. This app essentially is a relationship companion because I'm on my phone usually all day. My husband is on his phone all day. I'll go through and I'll answer some questions about our relationship that are prompted to me in the app. And then it will have my husband answer the exact same questions and then we get a score to see how well we rate it and overall I must say we've rated really well and there are some times when it doesn't align and this is what prompts that conversation about what we thought we knew about each other and we didn't but it brings these conversations to the fore where you're prompted to talk about it communication is key to any relationship and this app, the Paired app, is one of those apps that you'll have fun with. You'll definitely be more engaged with your significant other. It's an easy to use app and it's all backed by research. And you know, who doesn't like playing relationship games and quizzes and having fun talks around intimacy and finances, children, relationship issues that come up within your circle of friends. So yeah, I just thought I wanted to let you know and thank the sponsors of the Paired app for sponsoring my video for today. So click my link below to get a seven day free trial and 25% off Paired premium so you can maintain and deepen your connection with your partner. Go ahead and subscribe to the Paired app. Give it a try for seven days. Back to the other video. And you know, Harry and Megan staying silent around this book in game shows you their connection to this book in game because they said absolutely nothing. They're not fooling anybody, okay? Their silence speaks a lot. Now, they know how important it is for them to have this power, this positive news. And in this public domain, they, they are really trying hard to rebuild their brand, to come out as likable because of all the negativity that is surrounding them. Well, the, the, the fall of this could be for Harry and Meghan to now lose their, their titles because they have now put their foot in their surroundings of people that are getting ready to come out in very disgusting headlines. Now, I don't know if you listened to my, my talk with NT Lawyer, but he referenced it during our talk about P. Diddy and Cassie, where this is a woman who has filed a lawsuit against P. Diddy and the things that he had her do, the, the horrible, horrible SA that happened with this woman is just atrocious. It's disgusting. Well, P. Diddy also now has allegations coming out around his relationship with Bishop T.D. Jakes. Now, the connection is T.D. Jakes is connected in a very big way to Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey. The allegations around T.D. Jakes are criminal in nature, and I'm not going to get into all the horrible things. Just Google it. You will see what I am talking about. And so now Megan's connection to Tyler Perry being the, the godfather to her daughter, Lily, it puts a lot of disdain and bad headlines that are now connected to Meghan Markle and Harry because there are lawsuits, there are criminal investigations getting ready to happen around the things that happened with P. Diddy. Most recently, the there was this burner phone that was given to Cassie by the the mother of P. Diddy's children who passed away. And they're saying that she passed away around very nefarious circumstances. Like things are gonna come out now about her passing and there are allegations around this bishop that is this church man who has got horrible things that are now attached to him. Um, around his relationship with P. Diddy. 
P. Diddy's relationship with, uh, you know, Will Smith, <laughs> Will Smith's relationship, um, T.D. Jake's relationship with Tyler Perry. There's all these negative headlines and inadvertently it is a connection to Meghan Markle because of her rush to have someone like Tyler Perry be the godfather to her child, to be in her documentary. Her connection to this man, this man gave her a place to stay, her and Harry to stay when they first came over to California, lending their, his private jet to them. Like they have a very strong connection. And now these allegations around someone that is close within her orbit is going down. Those that are close to Oprah's orbit, T.D. Jakes, Tyler Perry. So, you know, what is going to happen with her close proximity to these people and all these things that are that are happening as we speak? very nefarious underground, just horrible things, illegal things, immoral things. I mean, especially when you are supposed to be a man of God. So looking at Meghan Markle's whole surrounding rebranding, nothing is going to save her from the allegations that she is now connected to via her rush to have someone be aligned with her that she really didn't know. All she knew was they're a billionaire, they can help me get what I want. What is a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? What is that? Because essentially, that's what Megan has done. She rushed to want to gain so much from Hollywood. She rushed to come into this world that she thought would help her get to where she wanted to be after leaving the royal family. And in her rush to do that, she, she went and put her foot in the cesspool of just debauchery perversion. These are things that are not going to make her look good. She rushed to be around something and to connect herself to something she knew nothing about. But now it's too late because now she is forever connected to something and in a relationship vicariously through all the favors that were done for her and Harry when they came here. What is she going to do now to repay this? Will she have to now come out and speak and give a good testimony about being the, the, he's a good person? I've never seen like she is now forever connected to something that no matter how much rebranding she tries to do. She's involved in something her and Harry are involved in something that are now tied to something that they are getting ready to fall. This is what it looks like to me. This is my opinion. These are allegations still at this point, but because the court of law is involved, this is going to draw in others to bring out evidence for this court of law. Then, then how is Megan then going to be connected to that? We know that she was also connected to Prince Andrew. There were uh, statements in the court documents that were going to be calling Meghan Markle as a witness in the, the Prince Andrew allegations that were being revealed before he settled. She was named in that. And now I think with these new allegations, she could be called again because of her close proximity and relationship to someone like Tyler Perry. We know Christian Keys is just starting to unravel the allegations that people are saying that it is Tyler Perry. I don't even know how much I should even talk about these other things because you may already be following this. It's, it's very heavily talked about now on the internet. And, you know, I just want to look at this you know, most importantly, from a teachable learning perspective that be careful of the company that you keep. Be careful of the people that you want to bring into your life for whatever that reason is, because you don't know these people, but yet you're so consumed with 
getting this Hollywood high profile life that you just see the 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 bling bling of these people and you're like, oh, I want to be next to so and so because so and so's got the bling bling, so and so's got the connections and the power and the money. I want to be connected to that. Be the godfather of my child. I know I don't know you, but hey, you know, I'm a little black, you black. Let's make a connection of you perhaps helping me. I am royalty. And now she's connected to all of this stuff that is happening. Like the headlines. I could sit here and talk for like hours on the allegations around P. Diddy, the allegations around T.D. Jakes, the, the, the allegations around Tyler Perry, the allegations that are going to be coming out to, to bring down these very powerful people. She's using her celebrity to connect herself to this brand, this coffee, Clever. Um, and despite the fact that Megan courts, you know, a lot of negative publicity, you know, having her in this keeps her relevant. It keeps people talking about her and it still gives her power when it comes to arranging brand deals. This is what um, Laura, a PR agent, has said. She goes on to say it's a smart move to make and will turn the ties on their run of negative press, showing that she's moving on and focusing on a positive future away from the bombshells that have been dropped in recent months. And you know what? Unfortunately, Miss Laura PR lady, yeah, this is a good way to look at how Megan is trying to move on and to rebrand herself and to get away from all these negative headlines. But unfortunately, Megan has stepped her foot into something that no amount of trying to be cute and quirky and to show buy my coffee or look at me, aren't I cute? I'm just an intern. I'm simple. I'm quirky. I'm cute. No amount of any of that stuff is going to ever, ever work to get her out of the mess that she has gotten herself into. Now, y'all, let me just tell you, the house of Hollywood and the things that Megan has connected herself to is too late to now try to get out of it. She's already in the mess and it is getting ready to find its way to Megan Markle.